Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Cabin by the Lake. It is the morning of day 9. I've got three skill points to spend here. I'm going to put two of them into big and fast, which is going to make us faster with the club. And I'm going to put one into minor 69er. Now we got this job on the map for Joel. Let's go get it done. Here we are. The icon must be in the back of the building. We're going to wake up some zombies on our way there. Whatever. It is what it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm at the wrong place. Uh, sorry, everyone. Didn't mean to wake you up for no reason. I'll be on my way now. Alright, my mistake. Here we are. <laughs> This is uh, tier two now, remember? Let's uh, double loot the mailbox. Salvage tool. Crafting. And some paper. Might as well check the trash. Ah, oh, some bullet casings. That's good. Lead and stone. And some cloth. All right. Let's get to it here. I see a workbench. I see a skinny little zombie. Oh. Well, trying to hit Skinny Pete with an arrow is like trying to thread a needle blindfolded. It's damn near impossible. Okay, let's let the cop come outside. Don't want him blowing up in the garage. Come on. Get mad. Alright. That should do it. Go ahead, old faithful. A little bit of gas. Yep. Sports bag. Some soup. Holy shit. Oh, man. I've never seen that before. The fake wall behind the, uh, the dresser. That's fun. I like that. All right, uh, let's check the workbench. Damn it. Just hoping for a workstation book. Maybe we should go see Jen today. Didn't she have three workstation books that we bought from her? And I'm, I'm not sure if her inventory has restocked yet or not. I haven't been paying attention to that. But maybe we'll give it a try and see. Because, uh... We need that mixer. Murky water. Crawler at the door. I don't see any other zombies. So I think I'm going to try a little experiment tonight at the base. Explosives book, seed crafting, and uh, big hitters. Basically, what I want to do is just put a ladder in from the bottom of the pit up to ground level. Now, there's going to be blocks at ground level. Cobblestone blocks. So, basically, I just want to see if the zombies will climb up the ladder to try to beat through the cobblestone blocks so they can get to the front door again. And that would kind of put them in a loop. You know? I don't really want the zombies to escape the pit. I don't want to put them in a loop, but I'm just curious. With the cobblestone blocks in their way, will they still try to climb up the ladder to beat through those blocks to get to the front door again? And then get put down in the pit again? Because while they're climbing up the ladder, we can just throw Molotovs at them and, and let them burn. Or be an easy way to get all the zombies in the pit to go to one location. You know what I mean? So it's just an experiment. We're going to give it a try and see if it works. And if it does, then we can kind of expand on that idea. I do not have any wood left. Four frames is all I was able to make. We got to get some wood at some point today. Even if just a little bit. Because we're going to need it to uh, repair the hatches. Uh, read that, and I will sell that. Steady. Got her. 
Hey! I was concentrating. Look at that perfect shot. Selling kits. That's some medical supplies up here. Read that. Eat that. And take that stuff. At least we can't get infected now. This must be a new house. I don't think I've ever been here before. Pretty cool layout. Could use a little makeover. That's one thing I haven't done yet in Alpha 21. A house flipper. Should probably do one of those soon. Those are always fun. Got some trash in the corner here. Clay. And I'll scrap these plans for more clay. Got the supplies. Now we just need to clear out the house. Sell those goth boots. Armor book. Oh. Oh, shit. Nice try, bitch. There you are. You puked through the wall like that? Some bullshit. Come on out of here. Like you blow up on the rooftop. There we go, motherfucker. Let it rip. Like a Mentos in a Coke bottle. Anything behind there? No. Well, looks like we're going up in the attic, but let's check the closet first. Scrap the overalls. I'll sell the cowboy boots. Looks like a plug, doesn't it? Mm. Definitely is. Oh, weapons bag. Nice. Level 2 baseball bat. Should probably craft that. 30 forged iron. Uh, I don't know. It's like I always want to wait for a better one. And then it's like by the time I fucking wait that long, we found a better one. So, I probably should just craft it. Yep. Son of a bitch. Uh, we'll hop up on the boxes here. Oh, shit. I just spotted a dog crate, so we need to be careful. Might be a dog up here, and there's a bird outside. Uh, I'm eating it. Let's deal with the bird first. So long. Okay. Um... I mean, we could always jump back up here if we need to. I wonder if I can make that beam from here. Nope. There's a dog, sleeping. I uh, woke up zombies. Oh, burn, bitch! Oh, God. Alright, dog is taken care of. Gotta go. Nice. Oh, damn, big boy. <laughs> Just landed on your feet like that? That's impressive. I figured your knees would have blown out like a hot tire with no tread. Uh, getting behind the door. There we go, finally. Jeez. Dude, I really like this house. This was a fun POI. We got a good amount of loot up here and stuff to harvest as well. Got a little pile of food. I'll eat the peas. Read the book. Got some clothes here. Perception shades. We'll sell them. I'm already wearing a pair of those. Take everything but the feathers that I don't need. Savage country crate and some ammo. Nice. And the uh, leather chest up here as well. Knife guy. 
Batter, up book we already read. Armor plating mod, we can throw that in something. Yeah, right in there, but I'm full. Let's put that in there for a second. Bring that down. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Whoops. We are pretty loaded up here. Not much I can do. A couple zombies found their way into the house. They're not part of this, obviously, because the job is done. Is that... Yep. Turns off the fire. We got some first aid stuff here. Read. Take, take. Read that. Take that. And let's trade the eight pieces of sand for the plaster cast. Gratitude. Uh, Molotovs. Fire Axe is tempting again, especially since we got the hammer at home, but I gotta go with the throwable fire. It's like he restocks tomorrow. So, there's probably not much here that I need. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll try Trader Jen. Gratitude. Yeah, might as well grab another job. Uh, hey, this is to the southeast. So is Jen. We'll do this on the way. Level 4 pipe shotgun and a poncho. I'm gonna sell both of those things. Jen down there. No oh, shit. Ow. Well, it's a shortcut. It's worth it. All right, let's see what Jen has, and then we gotta get home. Let's put that bandolier mod on now before I forget. Tell your friends. Put that on the chest armor. Okay. What do you have, Jen? Vehicle books, uh, workstation books. Interested in both of those. I don't see either of them. I'll take the 762, though. Don't have enough for all that 9mm. Take the gunpowder. Molotovs. Eh. Let's take the bullet casings. Molotovs or 9mm? Probably the 9mm. Unfortunately, she does not have the books we were after, so I'll buy as much of this as I can. Now we're cooking um... Gas. Wow, kind of shit here. Uh, you know what, let's do the Iron Sledgehammer and we'll just sell that back to him. Oh shit, there go Tier 2! Level 6 nail gun. Yeah, that's the one. Where? Oh, here we go. All right. Great doing business with you. Come back and tell you. I'm not going to take another tier 2 job. We'll come back tomorrow after he's opened and we'll take a tier 3. See you tomorrow, Joel. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to run a ladder from the bottom of the pit up to ground level. 
We'll just upgrade it to wood. And I'm curious if the zombies are gonna come up here and then try and beat through these cobblestone blocks to get back to the front door. And my guess is yes, they are going to do that. And it's a good way to keep the zombies busy. Um, whether or not I'm gonna keep that in place moving forward, we'll just see how things go tonight. Okay, here we go. Pretty much the same plan as last night. Hold them off at the hatch. Any zombies that crawl their way through will drop them down in the pit. If not enough get through, at some point I might let a bunch through just to test that ladder theory out. Yeah, I should definitely be able to throw a Molotov through these bars. Let's go ahead and give that a try. I got water on me. Look at that. No problem. It's a shame I can't melee them from here. You know, I should probably just let them through so we can use melee. If we try and do this every night, it's not going to work out in the long run because we're going to be using so much ammo. I mean, the pipe bombs help and they're cheap to make. So that's good. We should definitely be taking advantage of some melee here. I'll go through a little bit more 9mm and then we'll let them in. Oh, she got through. See you later. Is she gonna go for the ladder? Ah, fire killed her. Alright then, come on in. Get down in the pit. Down in the pit. <laughs> Let's go, lady. Down there. Yep, they are going for the ladder. Oh, there you go. Well, I figured that was going to be the case. You know, they don't want to just stay down in the pit. They want to get out if they can. Let them burn up for a bit. I don't care if they break through those cobblestone blocks. We'll replace them in the morning. It's no big deal. Uh, <laughs> the pistol, the pipe pistol reload animation never wants to work during the horde. It's like there's too much other shit going on. It's like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to be part of this. Oh, there it goes. It worked that time. Come on in. Ow. Get down in the pit. Get on down there. Come on, watch out. Okay. That worked, sort of. Get some fire on these fuckers. Oh, damn it. Forgot to light that one. That is what it is. Make use of these throwables. He could shoot at them while they're climbing up the ladder. That's an option. We could have the ladder lead up to a catwalk that wraps around and then comes to where we're standing. And then have it connect with, you know, wood frames that can be pulled up just like we used to do with catwalk all the time. So kind of mix in like a catwalk base with this. Maybe use... Uh, something thinner than blocks for them to stand on so it's easier for them to fall down into the pit from the catwalk. I don't know. We've got options. Now that we know they will um, definitely go for the ladder and path their way back up here. With all that said though, the heart of this base is the pit. So uh, I know it is kind of silly to let the zombies out of the pit once we drop them down into it, you know? So I don't even know if I'm going to use that at all. I was just curious to see if it'll work. It does. Now the question is, do we want to implement something else or or not? There we go. Getting some melee work in here. Get in the pit. Get, hey, get back here. Come on, fuckers. No, nope. this way. Come on. Not that block. That guy wants in. There you go, buddy. 
Close that. Uh, should we get some fire on the ladder, or maybe the doorway? That's probably a better place to put the fire. Come on, assholes, this way. Get in the pit. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, get in the pit. Hey, stop beating on my door. Okay, open up. Get down there. Oh, it's, uh, it's a wild setup, that's for sure. Come on. They, like, they don't know how to fucking behave. That was stupid. Oh, it fell down? Yeah, it fell down, <laughs> all right. Oh, that's one nice thing about putting scaffolding blocks below you. <laughs> if you drop a pipe bomb uh, by your feet, it will just fall down. It won't blow you up. Uh, it is nice to be able to utilize uh, melee without getting my ass kicked too bad. Just can't let them pile up too much. Once they start to do that, open the door. Drop them in. Hey, get back here. The ladder is fun. It's definitely a nice way to get them to group up. And uh, you get to make the most out of Molotovs by setting them all on fire. I don't know if that's something I will keep moving forward just because, uh, cops, you know? We don't want to drop cops down in the pit and then have them climb up the ladder. Puke at us from there, you know? That wouldn't be good. And I know I said earlier that I didn't want to put the zombies in a loop, but it's clear that we could if we want to, you know? Because then we can utilize melee more, drop them down in the pit, could put spikes down in the pit to damage them and soften them up. And then the ones that manage to make it back up here, you know, we can utilize melee more. Because once the zombies are in the pit, you can't fucking hit them with your club. You got to shoot at them at that point or uh, use throwables on them. So we'll see. I got to think about it. Are we done here? I don't think so. Where's everyone at? Can I do this? Yep. Yep. Oh! I just got pushed up. Is the zombie down in the pit? Gotta be. Yep. Kenny must be the last one. Alright, fuck it. And that's it. Another successful night. This setup is not bad. It, it really isn't. Um, but I think we need more. We definitely need more. Obviously, everything needs to be upgraded still, but even if all of this was steel, I think we need more. Um, not sure how this little little setup's going to work with uh, like an end game horde, you know? So I got to put some more thought into it. And uh, think about how we're going to handle a uh, very large horde with dogs and spider zombies and cops and demolishers. Uh, let's just fix this for now. I don't want to leave it open. Alright, that's good. Uh, I'm gonna hop down in the pit and continue digging down. Might as well, right? Plus, I need the stone anyway. So, uh, that's basically what I'm gonna do tonight, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day 10. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin by the Lake, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.